In chapter 21 of Jane Eyre, Jane has been having a dream of children, which she has heard is a bad omen. The day after the incident with Mason, she hears that her cousin John has committed suicide. Furthermore, Mrs. Reed has had a stroke and wants to speak to Jane. Jane requests permission to leave from Rochester and asks about Adele's future when Rochester gets married, as she thinks, to Miss Ingram. Jane goes to Gateshead and has a pleasant reunion with Bessie. Her cousins are cold, but in her time spent there, they develop a more tolerable relationship. When she finally speaks with Mrs. Reed, her aunt expresses no regret for the way she treated Jane. She shows Jane a letter she received three years earlier from John Eyre, Jane's uncle. He wanted to find Jane so he could adopt her and have her come to Madeira. He had been successful in business and wanted to leave his fortune to Jane. Not wanting to see Jane become wealthy, Mrs. Reed replied to John Eyre that Jane had died of typhus at Lowood. This, she says, was her revenge for Jane's outburst against her before she left Gateshead. Jane asks for Mrs. Reed's forgiveness, but is refused. <clears throat> Nevertheless, Jane forgives her aunt, who dies just a few hours later. This chapter highlights the changes Jane has gone through and how much she has matured. Although her aunt refuses to forgive the child Jane's outburst, Jane forgives her aunt for the treatment she received. This difference highlights the contrast between hypocrisy and Christian values. Jane is now confident and no longer defensive, showing that she has internalized Helen Burns' message. At the same time, Jane does not grieve over her aunt's death. Furthermore, Jane's cousins provide a counterpoint to her. Georgiana and Eliza are initially cold, but by the end of the encounter, both sisters prefer Jane to one another. This coldness and bitter display to one another contrasts heavily from what we later see in the Rivers sisters, who accept Jane from the start. The letter from Jane's uncle raises to the reader the possibility that Jane's position in life may change in the future. Jane's mention of the value of presentiments and signs alerts the reader to look for them in the coming chapters.